check out the effects of a windstorm. Here's your basic equipment barn. As we slow down here really slow, we'll look at this barn door. Here. The wind blew it out and impaled it on a fence post. I came out here to the Midwest, in part, to film the drought. The problem is, we had two inches of rain, or over two inches of rain, just last night. When I got into town, and you can see the puddles everywhere, but, you know, that doesn't erase the fact that there was a drought. Check out this corn. Now keep in mind, this stuff looks a lot better this morning than it did yesterday because of the two inches of rain last night. But look at the condition. Here's a stalk. There is one dried up, crusty, nasty looking ear with about five kernels on it. And that's just the way the corn is everywhere. Now the corn's plenty tall, about as tall as it should be, but it's all dried out and underproductive. Now this is feeder corn anyway, dimple corn they call it, and it's only got one ear per stock, and they've all got an ear on them, but when you feel them, they're just dried out and crusty and not that good, and, and they're already starting, I mean look at this. They're already starting to peel off of the off of the cob, all on their own. Shouldn't be that way right now. Uh, here's what corn should look like this time of year. Take a look at those nice plump ears right there. Yep, and all dried out and split and open and nasty. It should be too wet to harvest. And this stuff is almost cured it's so dried out I mean it is hard and it shouldn't be hard this, look at that here's another one over here completely peeled out should not be like this this is just really really sad but corn prices are gonna be up it's not a total loss but darn close to it well, there's a good reason we're not speeding on the interstate. I'm about to show you why, if he's still there. He could be down, pouncing on somebody. Here on the on-ramp, yep, there he is. Right there. Yes, indeed. You gotta watch them. Because they are out patrolling the safety of highways. But let's get on the road.